Die Fuckerwolf 190. Fully flyable in virtual reality and of course we are going to start this one up. But first, let's take a look in the back. Achtung, hou we naar boven door springladung. Which means, attention, canopy released by explosive charge. Well, I did not know that and now we all know. Now let's start this thing and that is surprisingly easy. First of all, let's open the oxygen valve by rotating this blue knob here clockwise to the right. And we can see oxygen is flowing in, so that's perfect. Now all the way on the right side, we open this fancy panel, start the battery, the generator. We have the radios here, landing gear, lights and the flaps. And then we close this fancy panel, super nice. And it seems that other planes, other Fuckerwolf 190 are taking off. Awesome. And then we have some buttons here all the way on the right side. Not sure if you can see it. Auxiliary uh, and navigation lines and that uh, sort of stuff. All are pressed. And there he goes. And let's follow suit. And yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now over here on the left, let's set the two magneto switches and the fuel cutoff lever to aus. Which means open now i have to say i love the design of this cockpit fantastic really good now uh, the throttle we have to uh, unlock it and then put it in the start position not in the steigen position but in the start position there we go now how do we start the engines super easy let me take off the cover here and then we press the starter button for 25 seconds it says Never works for me. I always press it for 30 to 35 seconds. And I will come back to you as soon as that is done. Okay, almost 35 seconds. I will release it and then pull it. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Brakes. Throttle back. Because this thing wants to fly. I will set the RPM to 1500. And what a beast. Mm, love it. Stick to the back. That will lock the tail wheel for easy taxiing. And as soon as I release the brakes, as you can see, it will roll forward. Now let's taxi to the runway. And it is just an incredible experience in VR. Justin Bieber always said, never say never. But, you know, I will never fly this plane in real life. And I think this is as close as as it gets really fantastic with the pimax crystal super sharp it only makes the image sharp to wherever i look so the rest is a bit blurred you cannot see that but that will help with the performance gains there are some other planes here taking off look at that mm, the noise fantastic i do have a little bit of a problem taxiing this plane i don't find it easy the Spitfire, I thought that one was hard, but I learned how to deal with it. The P-51, super easy. Uh, but this one... Oh, there we go already, you see? Oh, man, sorry. Uh, luckily, we don't have any passengers. I find it difficult. And I am not sure what I am doing wrong, to be honest. Um, gentle inputs, gentle on the brakes, and still, it's kind of all over the place. Maybe I have to lock this, I don't know, lock the tail wheel different, I don't know. Now, here we are, arriving to the runway. And as soon as we take off, I will shut my mouth, so you can hear the engine sounds. If we take off, that is. Um, yeah, what can I say about this experience? Nothing, I guess. It's just a little bit a shame that you see it on a flat screen and not in VR. Kind of curious to the ones who are watching here this right now. Who plays in VR or are you playing triple screens and do you want to make the switch to VR? Nah, let me know in the comments down below. Here we are, aligning to the runway first. And I will pull the stick backwards the first couple of meters so that we align ourselves well with the runway once we take off and I will set the RPM to around 2600. Here we are. Oh yeah, and let me not forget to set the flaps in the takeoff position. That's the yellow button over there. You can hear the sound of the flaps going down. We will wait for that. And after that, we're gehen jetzt. 
Ja? Here we go. Beautiful takeoff, but we are airborne. Look at that. Gear up, flaps up. Let me just take a look here. Uh, can I see that? Yeah, flaps are going up. There we go. Ah, oh, fantastic. Closing the canopy here on the right side. Yeah, how awesome is this? Ha ha ha. What a beast. What a beast. And we're going fast. It's in kilometers. We are now going 300 kilometers power. Going full power here in the Steigen position. And we are banking to the right here and then we will uh, fly over the airport and then try to land this plane. Uh, look at this, what a beauty. Also the virtual body in the cockpit makes it so believable in VR. Now, regarding flight simulators, let me mention uh, uh, just this. If you struggle to read indicators or normally wear glasses, but you know, not in VR, I highly recommend trying out the latest prescription lenses from VRWave.store. They prevent damage to the VR lenses because you don't have to wear glasses, which I was always worried about, and it will reduce eye strain with a blue light filter. So I don't want to sound like a billboard, but I really wish I had done this sooner. So if you're interested, visit VRWave.store. Now, look at that, fantastic. We will also take a look at the guns, no worries. Opening the canopy here. Letting the engine sounds. Oh, the wind as well. That effect is mwah. Oh. Sorry for my enthusiasm, by the way. Some people don't like it, but uh, I can't help myself. All right, we're now going Back to 300 kilometers. Everything looks good. Temperatures are good. Airport is on the right. Closing the canopy again. Let's take a look at these, uh, at the, at the, uh, at the guns, shall we? All right. Now let's uh, make a little bit to the right. Okay. Let me set on the. Hold on. Let me set on the master switch. The master arm switch to on. You will see these three red lights. Rumpf, rumpf und flügel. Rumpf means the guns in the middle part of the plane. Flügel, flügel means um, not the drink, but the, the guns on the on the wings here. You can also see ammunition. Let me fire here. Uh, fire again. Uh, fantastic. The noise. And what is so good about the Fuckerwolf 190 is that you can see the ammunition depleting here. I'm not sure if, I, if you can actually see it, but those white bars there in the top, if I shoot, you can see these white bars going down. And that will, you will, you know, around uh, how much ammunition you have left, which compared to, for example, yeah, I don't believe you have that in the Spitfire, but correct me if I'm wrong. Now, let's turn this beauty back down on the ground over there on the airport. I will make a turn to the right. We are going a little bit fast. 350 kilometers per hour. I need to get below 300 kilometers to get the flaps down or to pull the flaps down in the landing position. It also says that here, Landeklappen aus unter 295 kilometers. So that means I can put the landing flaps down below 300. There's only three positions the landing position for the flaps, the takeoff position for the flaps, and the upwards position for the flaps. Going to put it in the landing position right now, and that will slow us down, opening the canopy for the engine sounds so you can hear that better. And of course, I will put the um, landing gear down as 
well. And then we will align ourselves with the runway. I believe that what I see here in my headset is a little bit different than what you see. By the way, you see those red sticks popping up on the side of the wings. That means the flaps are down in the landing position. Uh, again, I see a little bit more than what you guys see. I see a little bit... Uh, I sit a little bit higher in my uh, VR headset, I see, than on my flat screen here. All right, aligned with the runway here. We have only one chance. We are going 220, 240 kilometers per hour. That is a nice speed for approaching the runway. And once I get closer, I will put the RPM back to 1500. Flare the nose up and hope for a three, three touch landing. Sorry. German is in my head, English in my, is in my head. Here we go. Focusing. Und dann gehen wir. Hier landen. Okay. Twenty approaching RPM fifteen hundreds. Flaring at the nose a bit. Flaring the nose a bit. Ah, oh, not bad, to be honest. Holy moly. This was not bad. Ich brauche keine Hilfe. Look at that. I also like the shaking of all the things in the cockpit. Makes it really uh, immersive in VR as well. Fantastic. I uh, won't taxi back. I will just take a right turn here. Oh, and then put it in the grass. Set off the magneto switches. Probably not the way to do it, but hey. It's still virtual. But thanks for watching. I hope this uh, gave you a quick insight in uh, the Fuckerwolf 190. A fantastic plane to fly. Just look at it. And also check out my other videos of the Spitfire, for example, where I take that one out for a spin. Also an unbelievable experience. Hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.